Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to complete the Books of Margahan and get your maximum Agris pool. Agris Fever is a point system that has the potential to reward you with some nice rewards for a period of time that it is activated. You are rewarded with a certain amount of points daily, and grinding is how you will consume these points. The busts of Agris will be gone once all of your points are consumed. The points in your pool will award you with increased trash loot by 150% and can stack with trash loot buffs up to 200%. Essentially, it's a loot scroll that can stack with your buffs. Certain mobs will consume a certain amount of points upon their death, and information regarding their point worth will be linked in this video's description down below. To get started, we will need to receive the first book. In order to receive this book, you have to reach level 60, and you receive the Adventure Log Agris, the Ancient Secret from the Black Spirit. If you follow the quest the Black Spirit gives you, he will lead you to a similar place in the very beginning, where you then can receive the first book. All right, so we ran to Ancient Stone Chamber, following this quest along so far, and it looks like we've been awarded with the first chapter. Do note this adventure log must be completed in consecutive order to continue to the next chapter. You need to receive the reward after completing this log. Go to the Altar of Agris. Seems to me that the Altar of Agris would be just north. This is typically where the Rift of Red Nose would spawn. Altar of Agris. All right, looks like we're done. So the next chapter, we are going to need fruit of enchantment, bear meat, and wheat. If you're looking for bears, one of the things that may help you is coming over here to Catfish Mancha area. That's just west of Calfian. And if you know the ogre rotation, there's actually tons of bears on this rotation here, just in Manchester's forest. It's actually hard to miss these. I don't know the specific spots for where they are, but running up and down Manchas, you can't miss them. And if you're only here for bear meat, don't be afraid to server swap. Oh, there's one. Hopefully this is the last one. If not, there's a bear right up there. I'll grab this bear meat and post it to the marketplace just to be a nice guy. Looks like we go to the altar and we give wheat. We give bear meat. We give the fruit of enchantment. That is that. Okay. So it's like we are done there. Now we have to go to the hidden place in the coastal cave of Valia. If I recall correctly, that's like just down here. Yeah, it is. You can see the note for Coastal Cave literally right here. I am right. And it should be... Uh-oh. 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 For this next part, we are traveling west when in Coastal Cave. And I just want to point this out that as you come into this cave, you're going to notice this tiny little hole. That is not the spot. There's going to be a lost worker in there. You're actually going to notice that just coming in, there is a bright little light against the wall right here. That right there. Next up, we have to find a hidden place in Kron Castle. Now we are at Kron Castle, if you're not sure exactly where this is it is literally just north of Valia. once you arrive in those front gates i'll show you where to go And here we are.
Awesome. So the last chapter we need for this book is we need to combine the stone tablet with Alustin's help. Back to the beginning. What am I saying? I can just fly off this. <gasps> Yeet! For this next part, we're going to have to make our way to the alchemist in Valia. If you're having any trouble finding him, you can select the find NPC option and you'd be able to type the NPC's name and be able to search for them from there. Once selecting them, they'll put a marker on your map and you can follow the auto path that will lead you to the selected NPC. Once talking to the alchemist in Valia, you will receive a stone tablet and have to navigate your way back to the ancient stone chamber. Once there, you will be able to wrap up your first book and proceed into the second. In order to receive the second book, you will once again need to talk to the Black Spirit to continue. For this next chapter, and actually the entire book, you're going to notice that there are specific grind spots that may seem familiar. In this book, it sounds like we're going to have to go through each location and grind out a certain amount of mobs. This being Saucens, looks like Crescents, this is Sherika Necropolis, this one being Manchums, and the last one, I'm pretty sure that is Star's End. We have to kill Saucen mobs. I got quests to do. All right, so we have 2,500 Saucen mobs to clear. Let's go ahead and get this done with. All right, Saucens, partially complete. Let's take a look. All right, on to the next one. So it looks like we are off to Crescents. 100 down, 2,500 to go. So close, and yet so far. Oh yeah, you're gonna feel the exact same way by the time you're done this, all right. Oof. Let's call this a wrap. Offer souls of the brave warriors. Time to go to Sherikon. Roughly 3,000 mobs. So do note that doing these mobs at nighttime does not count towards the book. How about that? And we are, wait for it, done. All right. Where to next? Mansions. Eating 3,000 mobs of mansions. Almost done. Seven more. Come on, guys. Platoon grinding in mansions. Oh, my God. All right. Thank you for party again. See you in Star's End. One more. 3,000 Star's End mobs. Holy crap. Five more. Three more. Two more. One more. Done. The final chapter for another 500 points. Done. So that means we have a total of 20,000 for our Agris Fever Pool. And 4,000 points are now recovered every day. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video was helpful for you throughout this book. Please consider leaving this video a like, and if you'd like to see more of my content, then don't forget to subscribe as I upload regularly. Until next time, big ooks.